Hey guys, Mystic here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be covering the brand new crab event that we have going on in Growl Era, and the massive changes to digging that have come along with it. I will be going over what the event is and how you do it, showcasing the new items and if they're worth grinding for, and finally checking out the new digging mechanics. Before I get into the video though, I need to thank those who helped me complete this video by showcasing the new items. The profiles are on the screen right now. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is what this new event actually entails. This is a digging event that will spawn crab holes that you will need to enter and then defeat. Within the crab holes, there is going to be a boss fight that includes one giant crab and a bunch of waves of normal crabs. This fight isn't really that hard and you'll only die 3-4 to four times before killing it and you do respawn so it really isn't that much of a challenge. It could probably be done with a starter knife if you were willing to spend some time. After defeating the giant crab, a door will open to the treasure room. Here you can open a chest and claim one randomized reward from the drop table. This includes over 10 new hats, 2 melees, and a morph. It seems like these crab holes spawn pretty frequently, usually taking about 2-5 to five shovels per crab hole. The second thing that I'm going to be doing is showcasing the 3 new items that we got within this event. We'll start off with the Clam Morph. This is a small morph that you can get from the chest in the treasure room. This seems like the most common of the 3 items. It is a pretty basic morph that turns you into a purple clam. This morph doesn't really have any other use except for the special effect that shows off its prized pearl. This really isn't anything special, but I know there are a lot of people out there that really enjoy morphs, so I definitely understand why they added this. The second item is the Big Crab Claw. This melee does 8 damage with a fast attack speed, similar to the higher damage crab claws we saw the first time giant crabs came to growl. This item has fantastic graphics and is a really cool item to have. It also has a special move that grabs an NPC and throws him, something we've never really seen in Growl before. I'm really happy that they added something so unique to this event and that people will actually want it. Luckily, I was able to get one of these pretty quickly, but I have seen some people have a hard time getting it. It is the second rarest thing to obtain from the chest. Overall, this is something you definitely need to get as it is untradeable and you'll never be able to get it again if you miss it this time around. The final item from this event is the Swordfish. The Swordfish deals 9 damage with a medium attack speed. This makes it not that strong in terms of damage, but this is still a really cool and unique melee. First of all, it's a Swordfish, which is really unique and fun, but it also adds a great special ability where you spin around with it and can even move while doing so. This is a great feature and makes this item another must-have from this event. The only issue is that this is considerably rarer than the other items and a lot of people I know have had a huge issue obtaining it. It's a grind, but it's definitely a grind worth doing. The final thing that this event added, even if unintentional, were the changes to digging. If you guys played the day this event was released, you would know that it caused huge server issues due to the amount of people playing and digging shells. This meant that the staff had to fix it somehow, and in doing so, they have changed nearly entirely how digging works. Now, instead of digging shells up and then grabbing them, they will instantly be added to your inventory, meaning that they will no longer end up on the ground. A second change was also made, making your shovel twice as slow, but when it does find a shell, it picks up two of them. These are huge changes, and I have a feeling they are not temporary. This could be here to stay, and I think it's actually a good change. Please comment down below your thoughts on these changes, as they are pretty big, and I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. The final thing that I wanted to do in this video was review how good this event is overall. If we take away all the bugs and the massive 4 hour server shutdown, this was actually a really good event. Events that incentivize us to continue doing things we normally do are a lot of fun. Digging is already very lucrative, and when you add the possibility of new items and hats for simply doing what we were already doing, it's pretty awesome. I've always wished for something like this to stay permanently, but it is nice to have this even if it is temporary. The Swordfish and the Big Crab Claw were amazing additions, and they were good enough to make some people feel like they missed out if they didn't get them, and I'd say that means that they did a really good job. Overall, I have to give it an 8 out of 10. It loses 2 points for being an absolute mess at the start, but honestly that was out of the hands of anyone that created this event. It was definitely a good job by the staff this time. And with that, this is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure you smash that like button. And as I said before, please comment your thoughts on this event and the new changes to digging. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. And of course, if you are not already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any Growl era news or updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.